Hello everyone! Some good news! Shipyard Champions is back with Season 2 and a couple new contestants. And you can find their links in the bio below with their challenge videos for this week. And let me kind of explain the challenge. Uh, basically, one battlecruiser versus one battleship. Very simple. Uh, the only thing is that I need to be 1925 or lower tech, and the enemy is 1935. And the tiebreaker, basically, which means if more than one person can sink the ship, which is highly likely, is whoever can sink it the fastest. So I'm thinking, I kind of want to do US and see if I can't build more of a fast battleship on a battlecruiser hull. So let's do probably clear morning just to have good visibility. Yeah, let's keep it, keep it daytime. I'll turn these off. I didn't outlaw unlock all holes. Uh, maybe I, yeah, I'll stay away from that. So let's, maybe 15 kilometers, what's 25, 35, they'll have a range advantage. Yeah, 15 kilometers is probably good then. Okay. Okay, United States Battlecruiser versus an Austro-Hungary or Austro-Hungarian Austro battleship. Let us see what we can do. Okay, well, not not much choice when it comes to uh, choosing different holes. Twenty-eight point five. Mm, not exactly what I want. Let's deal with it for now. Okay, this is no base accuracy, but long-range accuracy is absolutely crazy. I definitely prefer the defense tower though. I don't know why I always gotta move the ship around when I'm building. I really should not do that. Just 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 don't move it. Okay, don't move it. Don't move it. Don't move it. Okay, it seems the rear tower is the best. Slide this back. Let's get a funnel. Let's get two funnels. Actually, maybe tall funnel might look better. I do like my ships to look nice. Oh, yeah, I like that. They look just the same and at about the same height. Okay, let's get the smoke out of the way. Barbettes, let us. What guns are we working with, actually? We can go all the way up to Mark II 18 inch. How can I get with Mark III? 14. Oh, against 35? It would have... Hmm. So we are fighting a 1935, which I would like to take on with a 6-inch gun, but Mark II does not give me confidence. Let me look to see what the different uh, stats look like. Reloads as a 51 cal. This is 40. Let's make them the same caliber just so I can tell absolutely sure. So that's 50 cal. That's 50 cal. About a minute reload compared to like a minute and a quarter? Wait, so it's 18 and a half ish extra seconds. It's not terrible. Not a, not a horrible... Okay, I guess it's the accuracy I'm more, I'm more worried about. Let's say 15 to 20 kilometers, 0.6 to 1%, and 0.4 to 0.6. 15 to 20, we got 0.6 to 1.2 compared to 0.4 to 0.6. It's the exact same accuracy? What? Hold on, if I... Max training. At 20 kilometers, it's 0.6 to 1%. 20 kilometers, 0.6 to 0.9. So it's the same, same accuracy. The reload is, oh yeah, now we're down to 41 and a half seconds here and 40, or 54 and a half seconds here. Maybe I will do 16 inch guns. I mean, Mark II's not great, but these are not terrible. Let's see, because 20K pen is 14.6 compared to 11 inch, which is not going to cut it at all. Okay, I guess 16 inch. Let's go with, I think... Do these look good? I do like... <laughs> My ships need to look good, okay? You don't, you don't understand, they need to be absolutely beautiful. 
Also, I like these new US turrets. Very, very pretty. Couple pictures. Let us. I wonder if we have enough displacement to put 12 guns on. It would definitely be an interesting idea. Oh. I feel like 12 guns. Definitely gives us a sh uh, shot. Screw ray, well. Screw range for now. Speed is. Okay. L2. Gear turbines. Way more engine efficiency than I need. I might be doing something about that in a second. Let's get all the best stuff there really quick. Everything here. Best barbet. Uh, anti tour? What if I avoid anti tour? I'll take the triple bottom for the resistance. All the dust give resistance, doesn't it? And more floatability. Okay, fine, we'll take some. I might get rid of it though if I'm too overweight, which I am definitely too overweight. Let's stick with three for now. And double hull. What armor can I get away with? I would like 16, and let's just say three, three, eight, nope, eight, 1.5, 1 1.5, 1 1.5, 18. And I always max my citadel. Oh, we are so, so very over. Okay, ditch this. Ditch this. We might need to make some sacrifices here and there. Let's go standard, standard. I think we take best shells. 30 inches of pen. 35 battleship will probably have either modern 2, modern 1. So anywhere from around, maybe we'll just say 150 ish. Let's say 150 armor quality, maybe a little over. Um, let's just say 16, or 50, let's say 15 inches of armor. I think the AI likes 15 inches a lot. So it's 100, so that's 15, 15, so that's 30, and then half 15, like, or just say 8, so around 38 inches of armor. Well, that's not going to do it at 20k. However, we have not touched this yet, so let's take TNT for a little extra penetration, and then 2 powder. Which one's better, pen? Definitely 2 powder. 31. Okay, well we can do it at 17 and a half. But we cannot do it at 20k. Good to know. So let's try to stay at about 15 kilometers, which is where we're starting, so that's actually good. I realize we could also take super heavy shells. We fire in about a minute, which is okay. Did my... Do I have this range? Wait, what? Okay, for some reason... On standard, my guns can go up to 25k, at least on the stat sheet. And then when I go to super heavy, they drop in range? What? Hold on a minute. Is this a bug or is this a feature? Because it says they have more range. What if I drop down the lights? I have more range. Well, wait a the minute. What is happening here? What is happening here? Why does light shell suddenly have more range? I am so very confused. It says it's something to do with like long range accuracy drops, base accuracy drops. Um. Where in the world would it... Oh, is it the shell muzzle velocity? So Super Heavy actually drops in range? Does it drop in accuracy? It does, I think. 20k, 0.6, 0.6, and then 20k... Well, no, still 0.6, 0.6. It doesn't really change anything. What about 15, 1.2, 1.2. Compared to 15, 0.8, 1.1. Okay, let's check it standard. I think standard is going to be fine. Um, let's get best reload, though honestly, I mean, 40 seconds is still pretty good. Yeah, 40 seconds pretty much. Cutting rate, not great, but whatever. Um, coincidence, let's ignore Hydro and let's go with a RDF. Uh, maybe we'll take 1.5, 1.5, and then just 16, 16, 8 to match the armor. 
50 cal? I would like 50 cal, but we are very, very overweight. So here's what I'm thinking. By chance, if I reduce beam, do we... No, that actually makes things worse. Can I increase? Does fix it a little bit? And then we can bring this back. Okay, so that fixes it a little bit. Oh, now we got this stupid halfway offset. Okay. We ditch this. We take only one gun. Okay, we're... We have nine 16 inch guns that are only marked two, but they are okay, I think. I, I hope. And what I'm hoping to do is then reduce the beam. Can I get 93? Yes, I can. Can I get 29 without ballooning too far? Can I get 30? I can. Can I get 31? 32? 31 and a half. 31, okay. 31's okay. It's definitely acceptable. A little bit of a full weight offset. I don't have any secondary guns. Oh, secondary guns are definitely going to be helpful. The throne's a couple six inches. Throwing a lot of six inches. I think 12 per side is good. I'm mostly doing this because I know that these are going to be in range at some point, and battleships secondaries are probably going to absolutely tear me apart. Do I care about HE pen? Do I? Or do I just. I might just stick with base I like base views a lot. I'm a little overweight. If I go six, six, three, I can only do four here. Just go three. Um, what caliber are they? Thirty-seven. That's very small. Making forty cal at the very least. I could go forty-five. Can I go for it? No, I cannot. It's okay. Forty-three. They have enough range to fire as soon as we spawn in. Which is nice. Okay, what do I sacrifice? Did I go to Ox 2? Ship repair. No, this is so much better with ship repairs and water pumping, especially. Um, I could reduce the size of the funnels. Let's say we go with. What if I just two tall funnels? Okay, now tall, what about tall funnel ones? I mean, honestly, what if we just went with the smallest funnels? That doesn't work. Okay, I can't get two of those. They got the stupid side thing. So two tall funnel ones. Uh, a little mishmashed, but that's okay. The offset is definitely better. Oh, yeah, yeah. What to sacrifice? It doesn't make my draft a little bigger? Does this help? Little bits. That's a lot of draft though. This makes it exactly 35,000 tons, really. That's interesting. Less stable shooting platform. What does my accuracy look like now? 1%, 1 1.4, 15 kilometers. Compared to. The exact same accuracy, so what did it affect? I don't think... Is it just... Effect like uh, if there's slight waves, it uh, shoots less well? Well, considering it, there's not going to be any waves, considering it's a clear, clear day, no weather, I think we'll be fine. We are 146 tons over. What is my turning circle? I don't think it needs to be that good. Let's go down to Electrohydro 1. That's almost already fixed the problem. I want all the barbettes. What about, what about just hydraulic then? 
That's definitely way under. 613. That's not bad. Okay. That is not bad at all. Can I take a, a little bit of hydro? I will do that just in case. Just in case. Then any more deck armor I can take. Okay, what if I ditch this and I go more deck armor? I really can't get that much deck armor. Hydro 2? Nope. Okay, let's just go Hydro 3, stick with the main bell. Um, superstructure is kind of important. Not that I can increase it easily. Some better turret armor would be nice, but I don't think that's going to happen. Or, you know, that's not going to happen. Just go four inches there. Max it actually. Can I max this out? Just max everything out. Okay, go max that out. Okay, there we go. That, I guess, works for me. I get, why not? If it doesn't work, then I, I unfortunately just lose the challenge. <laughs> uh, I also need to sink them as fast as possible. Hopefully 31 knots is going to let me do that. Try and reduce this offset a little bit. There, near perfect uh, weight distribution. There we go. Perfecto! The New York class battle cruiser. I would I would call this quite a pretty ship. I like it a lot. I like how it looks, how it turned out. Let us. Oh, I, do, I do like this. I like the U.S. got a bunch of cool little or cool little guns. All right, um, let's try this. And basically, as soon as we start, so let's start, pause. Okay, so basically we started 10 hours, so I'm only three seconds down. And the person with, I guess, technically the highest number here, uh, wins, as long as they sink the ship. Let's check out the enemy battleship. 16.4 inch guns. Those are the German model guns on an Austro-Hungarian ship. Okay, I guess that's okay. Uh, they have eight guns, so technically I outgun them. They have they have two 7.2 inch guns per side. And two 6.6s. I would guess these are the 7.2s and those are the 66 on either side. So I actually outgun them in secondaries as well. They have a lot 2.2 inch guns. So as I I think as long as I stay out of like 10 kilometers of range, I don't think those will be useful at all. Yeah, they got a lot of 2.2 inch guns. And that's all I know about them for now. You know what? That is not a bad looking ship though. I will take a couple of pictures of this thing because that is, I do like that a lot. Steal a couple of those. Let's go check out my own ship. Maybe it doesn't necessarily look as cool, but still like it. Still like it a lot. couple of photos there, that's all. Alright. I think I'm about ready to start this challenge. Be ready to place good, start aiming. I do have a lot of range. Out to 25 kilometers and we're starting at a little over 15 kilometers, so let's... Okay, wait, hold on. What direction are they going in? 
They're going away from me, so let's kind of also go away. Okay, let's begin. Immediately starting with a target lock. Nope, nope, okay. Thank, <laughs> Thank God. I was going to say, please no. Okay, they are turning toward me, which is kind of what I expected. I don't want to get too close to them. Accuracy is leaving a little to be desired. My six point. Oh, a penetration! That was by the 16 inch gun. Those 16 inch guns are definitely doing some work for me. I've taken a little bit of damage, but I think it's from the secondary gun. They're closing in, which is not exactly what I want, so I'm going to start turning away a little bit. Around 15 to 20 percent accuracy for the main guns is okay. Blocked a couple more shells. We've gotten one penetration. They have gotten only one overpen. Another penetration. Okay, that's nice. I do like that. I like to identify their ship. So their ship is flooding now. I do like the ship though. I don't like this little gap. Obviously the citadel is huge. If they ever close that gap, this would actually be a really cool looking ship. We took a hit, a flooding hit. Very minimal damage though. Besides that flooding. As long as all my guns can fire, I'm fine with it. I seem to still be able to fire. Ricochet, that's good. Still have not identified the Austrian ship. Another penetration. Very good. We're chipping away at them. It's not exactly what I would like, but it's okay. That was perfectly timed. Over pen. That was. Doesn't tell me that. Okay, cool. So, a couple, quite a few over pens actually. So, they have. Okay. Let's see what they have really quick. 15.6 inches. I, I mean, 15 inches. I don't know why. The AI loves 15 inches of armor on their main belt. And 30s to 40s. Superstructure is pretty good. I probably won't be knocking off their towers unless I get a uh, main gun hit on it. Main deck armor, definitely better than mine. Which is probably doing them favors right now. Are they using... They're Citadel 3. Okay, interesting. So they are actually more susceptible to hits on the aft and uh, foredeck and belts. Conning tower, probably won't be touching that anytime soon. Citadel armor is okay, but they have less layers than I do. And the turrets seem to have okay-ish armor. They also do 31 knots. Interesting. So they are just as fast as me. I was not expecting that. Get to 4,000 tons compared to my 35. They cost 600 mil, I cost about half that. Can I click on their ship, please? Okay. Anything else that I need to be worried about? They have the same level of corrupt as I do. Or corrupt. No, they have less. Their armor quality is less than me? Seriously? That's weird. Triple hole bottom. They don't have all the anti flood they don't- oh no, they do have all the anti flood they don't have maximum bulkheads. Or maximum reinforced bulkheads, they do have maximum bulkheads though. Um, heavy shells, reduced ammo, interesting. I remember none of ammo. Semi-auto, maybe semi-auto? How fast do you guys reload? 42 seconds. I reload in less than that. 
Interesting. AI. What's happening here? Corday? Always chance of a flash fire. Sonar. Three sticks. Good thing I have no torpedoes. And Gen 2 radar. That will definitely... Well, you'd think it would do them favors, but... 6.5% accuracy compared to my 11. I'm guessing it's the crew training? Trained compared to veterans. Yeah. We are... Okay, are they going away from us? They're starting to turn away from us. Let's turn in. And get back to it. Because I don't think a long range fight is going to do me many favors. I would like to get closer and get my 6 inch guns firing again because they seem to be doing a lot of work for me. Wish these, I wish these uh, little tool tips weren't so large. I can't even see the whole penetration table for this and this one I can't even see what the guns are. Let's get a little closer. Oh! Big hits! Destroy the funnel, that's going to affect your speed. Real nice hits. The Con Conprins uh, Erezog Rudolf is not having a fun time after that hit. My 6 inch guns are opening up. The ship is, I believe, turning back toward me? Yes. Oh, another flooding penetration hit. Let's turn away again. Let's watch this ship fire a salvo. That is quite pretty. Okay. Ooh, holy moly, I missed a huge penetration on the New York. Uh, 7,000 damage. Oh, that is not good. However, that was a deck pen, so going away is actually a bad idea. So I'm going to close in. Because we need to end this fight quick. I cannot take another hit like that. I only have 7.4% losses, they have 15.2. But still, that was abs. Oh my. That is a huge penetration. I am not having a fun time now. I can't tell if I'm too close or not close enough. Are those. No, that's a. Oh, that's a deck pen. These are all deck pens. I need to get closer. Oh, is it because I'm angled in? Oh, that's not good at all. In that case, I'm going to turn around, because right now my deck is angled toward them, and I am taking huge hits on the deck. Uh, flooding is doing okay, and the speed has dropped vastly. I think theirs has two, though. Yeah, they're only going 21 knots. I'm going about 24-ish, so still pretty even in that regard. They were a little too close. My guns are turning around. They are... I mean, they're already pretty low in shells. Oh! Really good couple hits. We are within 10 kilometers, which is not exactly where I want to be. We are only taking partial pens, though. This is definitely a uh, close fight. Oh, holy moly, okay. Secondary guns are gone. That is not very fun at all. Oh, that was a lot of damage. If we can get a couple good hits, we might still be able to pull this off though. Come on. Oh, partial pens. Come on, you slightly better than this. Oh, another flooding hits. That's not good. Is it? It's against the belt this time. This might not be looking. We do get another good ten flooding hit, but we are still not looking too great. I'm gonna try and get out of range. Ah, being this close is not fun for me. That's for sure. The poor New York has taken so many hits. 
Oh, we both just got really good hits. I might actually go down to structural and try and get out of out of range, but oh, another flooding hit. If I can get a good couple hits, I might be able to still do this. Oh, we're just getting partial pens now. Oh, man. they're getting flooding hit after flooding hit. What's this? Oh, I think I'm going to flood out. Oh, a really good hit, but I think it's too late for the New York. Yeah. Oh, the New York goes down. How unfortunate. Well, it was a good fight. But the New York was unfortunately not able to beat the uh, Crown Prince Erizog Rudolf, which, I mean, in my defense, it, is, it does cost twice as much and is about, I think, maybe a third bigger. And it is 10 years ahead in tech. But, oh, unfortunate. I thought I had that in the bag and I, in fact, did not. Well, anyways, thanks for sticking around watching the whole video. And I will see you guys for the next week of Shipyard Champions. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.